we done it, Gav? At last. And I have something to tell Alistair, too. That he was right all along. Hmm. Who'd have thought we'd ever manage it? I bet Grandad and the Orcs Princess would be having a whale of a time by now. I'm half surprised the old codger ain't turned up to surprise us. But even he couldn't spring up in a place like this, eh? I transported your friends back to their homeland. Each one of you is a great hero. I will never forget your strength and courage. You remind me of the Seven Sages. It is time to land. Wonderful men. I ain't one of your men, Grandad. Neither am I. And I'm a free agent. Hmm? <laughs> of course, of course. Wise bird! This world is in no danger now. I see. What about the princess and I? Well, the power of Rapthorn's curse is weakening. Really? Splendid! Well, I don't know where your next destination is. Is it uh, proper to tell... I am not a god. I was known by a different name. There I was called Ramia. But now... I must leave. Goodbye. Granddad! It's taken you this... Nah, I mean literally. Mm -hmm. by my striking appearance, no doubt. Wait. This is no time for an argument. Where's the princess? Hello, everyone. At last, the curse is lifted. Father. Hey, look!
my castle. Trodain is restored. Gaff! Hey, hey! Long time no see, eh? I've been playing it straight, Gaff. Yeah, I've been doing a bit of trading, you know, bits and bobs like. Been sailing round and selling stuff in all the places we went to to get this bird, uh, mate of mine's been bugging me for ages to help her with it. So here I am. You're looking at Yengus, the important exporter now. Anyway, I heard your big news. So you're head of the palace guards then, eh? Diamond, I'm well chuffed I can help you out on your first big job and all. And it's for none other than our darling horse print. Oh, listen to me. She ain't an horse anymore, is she? So we're escorting the princess to a wedding at Savella Cathedral, right? Oh, I don't know, though. Beats me why she's still marrying that charmless bloke. After all this happened. Oh, yeah. Nearly forgot. I was supposed to give you a message from this old minister I saw on the way over. Seems the princess is ready to deport now. So you can go and fetch her from a room like. I'll be waiting down in the courtyard then, eh? See you in a bit. Ah, it's been a while. I came as soon as I heard the news. So, it seems we'll have the honor of escorting the lovely prince. I just ran into Yangus, too, same as ever. I'm a busy man, as you know. So I wasn't too thrilled at first at having to drop everything and come over. But it is good to see the old gang again. Anyway, are you really all right with this wedding going ahead? You don't have to stick around if it's too hard for you. 
Just do what you have to do, my friend. Like I did when I left the Abbey. Oh, <laughs> Angelo's so wonderful. You know, he looks after children who don't have anywhere else to go. Don't you? He says he wants to repay all the kindness Abbot Francisco showed him when he was all alone in the world. <laughs> Isn't he just the sweetest man you ever met? <laughs> hey, no need to tell the whole world. I have a certain image to maintain with my admirers. Well then, see you in a bit. I'll be down in the courtyard taking a break. Come and find me when you're ready. see. How have you been? You look pretty well, that's for sure. But how come you haven't visited me in Alexandria? I've missed you. You know, I was planning to go off and live on my own, but my mother was so worried I ended up settling down back at home. I guess the time I spent away from her made us both realize what's truly important to us. We get on really well now. I'm not much of a replacement for my brother but I've decided to stay and look after Alexandria. With everyone's help, of course. But enough of that. Have you heard? Apparently Yangus and Red have teamed up now and they're doing something together. Can you believe it? Last I remember, they couldn't exchange two words without three insults. I wonder what went on between them. Huh? You're on your way to pick up Princess Medea? Yeah, I guess it's time to get going. Okay then. I'll be waiting for you down in the courtyard. I suppose this is the last time I'll play the piano like this in here. I wonder if there'll be a piano I can play in Argonia. Thank you for coming. Is it already time to leave? I asked the minister to have you call on me so that we could take one last walk through the castle, alone together, just like old times. I know it's not quite time yet, but I wanted to say goodbye to you properly, to thank you for everything you've done. The times I've spent here in Tredane Castle, with you, will be memories I shall treasure for always. I have to marry the Prince of Argonia to fulfill my royal duty. And you have to please continue to serve my father and protect Tredane, just as you always have. Oh. So then, shall we go? It won't do to keep people waiting too long.
Well, so this is Savella Cathedral. What a perfect place for a grand royal wedding. Excellent work, young man. You did an admirable job of escorting us. Your duty here has now been fulfilled. You shall stay the night at the inn and return to Trudane tomorrow. But I thought they'd all be attending the wedding. I'm sorry, Princess, but I'm afraid that won't be possible. Well, well, pleased to make your acquaintance indeed. I am Prince Charmley of Argonia. Goodness! Ooh you must be Princess Medea. Ooh, charmed, I'm sure. One look at you is enough to make me forget all the other beautiful girls I've ever met. I'm the luckiest man in the world to have you as my wife. Blimey! What's with all the romance? I didn't know you had it in you, Charmless. It's Charmley! Oh, aren't you those servants from the initiation? Hm. No doubt you're here because you heard the news of my wedding. Well, I'm afraid this is as far as you can come. I can't possibly have commoners like you at such a grand royal affair. It's not as if you're aristocracy or wealthy or, well, anything. <laughs>